I've seen this working mum raise her kids with no structure, so the first port of business for me is putting in a routine that will help this family. What does it say, Mummy? The McKinney family routine. A well thought out routine is going to give these kids daily stability and certainly everybody's going to get some sleep. What time ideally do you think that these kids should be in bed? Um, eight o'clock. This is our schedule. This is what we're going to do every day. So that way the kids' needs are met and they're not always wondering what's going to happen next. After we'd finished doing the routine, Caden decided to pick up one of Mum's photo frames and throw it. And that was a perfect opportunity for me to kick in with a cool down technique. Eye contact, communication will Kaden, be clear. Can you please not throw mommy's things or spit at me? That's not okay. I'm looking for your low tone voice. Kaden, when you spit at mommy. You're not talking to him, hold him straight. Kaden, eye contact when you spit first. At... That's not okay to blow your Stop nose. It. Use a firmer voice, that's your conversational Kaden. voice. Kaden, are you kidding me right now? Wow. This kid just punched his mum in the nose. Caden is no way ready for the timeout technique. What we've got to do here is to first put in place a zero tolerance from Caden so that he knows this will not be accepted. You will go to your room. And needs to know that every time he is aggressive, Caden will be placed into his own room to calm down and then to come out and apologise for that behaviour. And when you've calmed down, when then you, you can down, come out of your room. Out. OK, walk out then. A few minutes later, Caden came out as if nothing was wrong and Mum was acting the same. What's going on here, Mum? I have no idea. My nose hurts. I don't care about your nose right now. You've got a young boy right now. No! Get in the room. The idea is to diffuse Caden's behaviour, not feed into it. And tell him why. Caden, you are not coming out of your room because you're hitting me and you will not come out until you're done. OK, move out, Mum, move out. It's what I call the one strike and you're out. You don't get any chances, you don't get any warnings. We'll stay here until you're ready to be nice. And then Caden got defiant and took his clothes off. <laughs> it was pretty frustrating to keep dragging him back and forth to his room. He was still testing me to see if I was for real or not. <laughs> the saga continues, he's coming out, and Mum's putting him back, but it's going to be important that she stays on track and follows through. <laughs> Eventually, we did see Caden calm down and he came out of his room. When Caden came out with his clothes on, apologizing, it made me feel hopeful that this is going to work as long as I stay consistent. I'm so hopeful for being in the mood. Hugs and kisses. Thank you. It was the first sign of success. He's coming, Mom! He's coming in! Because Caden's behavior gets all of his mum's attention, Kayla decides that she'll behave that way to get some of it as well. The problem is she uses her brother as bait. Uh, give me my ball back, please. No. Okay, Mom, give me my ball back, Mom. Hmm. <laughs> What's happening? Why, why is he so angry? Hold on a minute. Because I asked him my ball and he said no. And then what did you do? He smacked me. This whole cycle has got out of hand. I mean, it's bad enough that Caden's kicking off and now Kayla is piping in. I need to just talk to Mum. Every time she instigates and he's left there like this, as if he was the culprit, she needs to go into timeout. And what we will do is a proper timeout for her. So she will sit in a timeout for six minutes. Just here. All right, where she's going to sit down. No. You're going to explain why. Come here. You're going to explain why, We're not and then kick. you're going to walk away. Kayla didn't respond well at all to being put in timeout. She you know, kicked, was defiant, pitched a full-blown fit. You are going to sit here for six minutes no. for your no. behavior. Yes, you will. She walks away, you bring her straight back here. Every time you walk away, I will keep coming back and getting you. No talking to her now, please. Just set the timer. As she moves, she'll come straight back there again for six minutes. I was kind of skeptical. I was like, is this really going to work? <laughs> and finally, Kayla stayed put for six minutes and Mum finished the timeout. The six minutes is over and you are in timeout because of your behavior. I want you to apologize for your behavior right now. Sorry for hitting Kayla. And what about your behavior towards me? 
That's unacceptable. Sorry for breaking the rules and hitting you and running off. OK, can I have a hug? Now we've established discipline that's different for each child, I can move forward with some more techniques. Good follow for Ashley. But I don't know if Mum's on board. What's all this with the safety latch broken on the door so that Caden can just run out when he wants to? Caden, there's a car right there. There are cupboards that have got cleaning chemicals in them that do need to be locked up. Mum really needs to get handy, let's face it. OK, there's your tools, literally. Yeah. OK, strap them on. I'm thinking, what am I supposed to do with this? This is what men are for. <laughs> Despite Mum's qualms, she did manage to put the safety latch on the door. Voila. I mean, common sense, really, just to put a lock on that door. And then Mum had to put some safety locks on the cabinets, and you could see that she was just losing patience. I mean, she wasn't up for it at all. How's it going? I'm over this, because I'm going to have to pay for this apartment if I put any more holes in it. I'm not getting my deposit back, that's for sure. I was just annoyed to have to put that stuff up. I mean, is this why I call it Super Nanny? I couldn't really see the point. Kaden, what are you doing? Mum, you need to take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the stick and go to your room. No, 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 no. Come here first and explain to him why you have put these on the door and the importance of him listening. I put these on the door so you don't go outside. Eye contact, come down to his level and be really firm with him. Stop. You will not bite me. Do you hear me? Stop, right now. Mum clearly wasn't up for doing any discipline. I mean, she was losing patience, so I decided to step in. You do not bite your mother. You took the safety handle off the door. Now you will go straight to your room for that behaviour, right now. <laughs> After I placed Caden into his bedroom, I came back out to find out what was going on with Mum. I feel like it's hopeless. It's pointless. He's never going to listen to me. No matter what I try, nothing works. But you didn't try nothing. You're expecting him to get it after a few tries and get it, when you've not even delivered 100%. You've only given him 50%, and then you didn't follow through on anything. Has she got mad? Come here, I'm talking to you. Ashley. Where are your clothes? Excuse me, excuse me. Where are me. your clothes? As excuse me, Ashley. Ashley, let's deal with that in a minute. I just ushered her into her bedroom. Out came the real Ashley, swearing like a sailor. I don't get help from anybody. So anything I put my mind to, I get for my kids. They need shoes, I get them for them. Not their dad, not welfare. Anything I need or I want, I get myself. Mum just doesn't seem committed to the hard work to change these kids' behavior. And when I bluntly told her, oh, she didn't like it. Come here, I'm talking to you, Ashley. And she let off. I saw the most emotion I've ever seen from her, and the more I remained quiet, the more she talked. I take pride in everything that I work hard for, and when my kids destroy it, it pisses me off. My friends say, you should beat that kid, and he would stop. I'm not going to beat my kid. But when he bites me, I want to beat his ass, and that's why I shut down. And that's my way of regaining control for a moment of myself. Hello, Ashley. I'm Jo. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Because today, I feel it's the first time that I've really got to know you. This is the first day that really you've let me in. I applaud you for recognising that you are not going to be physical with him because it's abuse. But you need to hold rank in your home. Your children need consistency. Consistency is everything that brings you to success. It's what these kids need. They need to know that through thick and thin, you will be there. And it will change. So we can crack this and get out there and work. No, I've got the real Ashley. I'm hoping we can get some work done. <laughs> <laughs>